Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Van and welcome to the channel. Today on the channel we're taking a look at this watch. This is the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean Polaris Homage Watch. If you do a lot of shopping on AliExpress or other Chinese wholesale websites, you've probably ran into the brand Polaris and you're wondering the quality of their brand. So today I'm giving you guys an unboxing and a review of the Polaris Seamaster Homage Watch and sharing my honest opinions and thoughts about this watch. But before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you follow my Instagram. No more talking, let's get into this review. Okay, so here's the packaging for the watch. As you can tell, it's pretty badly damaged. So you see, I ordered this watch about two months ago and it just came in this week but usually their delivery speed is very fast it only takes about three weeks but the reason it took two months is because I ordered this before this whole coronavirus nonsense started and my package got stuck at customs for a whole month Have a nice tag. And onto the watch. Okay, it's wrapped in plastic, that's great. <laughs> okay, so on to the face of this watch. For me, personally, absolutely beautiful. They nailed the dial on this watch. I'll show a picture of the watch that's supposed to homage on the left over here. You can see the difference for yourself. Almost no differences. Okay, so we have two dials. We have a day of the week dial on the left and a day of the month dial on the right. However, the day of the month dial really doesn't serve any purpose because when I push one of these pushers over here, it skips by like every three days. And that's what the, the window at the six o'clock position is actually for. So if we have two day of the months, that really doesn't make any sense. We have a in-house automatic mechanical movement, keeping really good time in my opinion. It's only losing about one minute per week, which is really good because even Rolex loses about 14 seconds per day. And this movement gets about six ticks per second, which is about the same as a Steiko and H35A movement, which is a really reliable movement. We have a nice looking 60 click rotatable bezel. However, it doesn't function very well. Whenever I twist it, it feels like there's just metal grinding on metal. It's got a lot of back play. It's just, I'm not impressed by the bezel on this watch. We have a crown and we have two pushers on the sides. The bottom pusher controls the subdial on the right, which is basically useless. And we have a pusher on the top, which controls the day of the week subdial. Onto the strap of this watch, really high quality strap in my opinion. Very stiff, however, very hard to break in. A little funky to wear on your wrist, but it is really nice quality. Uh, fabric on the top and rubber on the inside and on the sides. We have one of these slide through type of clasps. So how this one works is there's holes on the bracelet. You slide it to the one that fits for you and then you close it and wear it. If we pull the crown out halfway, that controls the day of the month at the six o'clock position. Not very fast. It's not a quick set date or anything. Pretty standard, very slow. If we pull the crown out all the way, that will control the hour and minute hands. This is not a hacking movement. This is a non-hacking watch, which means the second hand still ticks when you pull out the crown. Onto the case back of this watch. There's no writing on the case back. It's just a glass display so you can see the movement on the inside. Exposed balance wheel, you can see all the jewels, it's pretty nice. Nothing fancy on the rotor, pretty standard. And I forgot to mention this crown on the side over here has absolutely no function. It's just for decoration. It doesn't twist, it does not pull out. It's just to make it look more like the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. Onto the dimensions of this watch. 
we have a case diameter of 45 millimeters. Pretty big to be honest with you guys, just for my liking. I like my watches at least under 43 millimeters. We have a case thickness of around 16 millimeters. Very, very thick for my six and a half inch wrist, not gonna lie. We have a lug distance of 22 millimeters and a lug to lug distance of around 50 millimeters. So here's the watch on my six and a half inch wrist. It's just a little big and chunky for my wrist, quite honestly. If you have a seven inch wrist or anything bigger, I'd think it'd fit quite well on your wrist. Okay, onto the loom of this watch. Pretty bright, not gonna lie. It's not the best loom I've ever seen. It's a pretty standard green loom. Not the brightest, but also not the dimmest. Pretty standard loom in my opinion. Other small, other small details about this watch. The top of the lugs on this watch are a polished black metal, and on the sides we have a nice thinly brushed metal. If you guys have ever been on my channel before, you guys know that I love thinly brushed metal on watches. It's my absolute favorite. But on to the overall quality of this watch. The band is really good condition. Hmm. The band is really, really good quality. It's a little stiff though. But the case, the overall watch, is just not great quality. I mean, one subdial on the right that's completely useless. A very bad, gritty bezel with, I mean, look at that back twist. That's at least a minute of back twist right there. If you look at the indices on the 12 o'clock position, on the 3 o'clock position, they're just not lined up at all. It's just kind of put on there sideways. And it's almost like they weren't even trying. However, the design of this watch is just spot on, but the quality is not the best. So if I'm gonna give this watch a rating on anywhere from one through 10, I'm gonna have to give it a six, unfortunately. The design is there, the design is amazing, the detail is amazing, but the quality is just not there on the watch. A horrible bezel, misplaced indices, the bloom isn't amazing, the clasp feels very cheap, the crown feels very unsturdy, and the dimensions are just way too thick. But if you have a big wrist and you don't care about quality and you just like the look of it, go ahead and purchase it. The link will be in the description below. And if you have any questions or comments about this watch, please leave in the comments below. I will always reply. But I think that's gonna be it for this time, guys. So if you did enjoy, please consider subscribing to the channel and please give this video a big thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm gonna go find a way to get rid of this watch and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.